Hey everyone, this is Andrew Wannabe, and I'm here with my friends Mary and Rick. Hi everybody. Hi Andrew. I think I've made it on YouTube when someone impersonates me. My good buddy Rob over at Prevo Life made a video with his friends Rick and Mary that are selling their country coach. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than most. I'm going to be doing a reaction to Rob's impersonation of me. Before we watch this impersonation, a quick message from today's sponsor. A huge thank you to the RV Glass Guru for sponsoring today's video. The RV Glass Guru specializes in RV windshield replacement and foggy window repair. They have a team of certified installers nationwide that can do RV windshield replacement. If you have a foggy window that needs to be repaired, they have a team of certified technicians in the Arizona area, all the way from Yuma to Quartzsite to Phoenix to Tucson. Tell RV Glass Guru that Andrew Steele sent you and they'll give you $100 off. They also offer additional discounts for anybody that has served as a veteran, in law enforcement or any other public service. We greatly appreciate all of you that have served our country. So Rick, what do we got here? What is a Country Coach Infinity 700 Custom? Correct. What's the motor that's in it? It's a 600 Cummins. Uh, it's 12, 1750. All right, the wind noise, man. You're already messing up on your impersonation. I, I'm gonna be rough on Rob today. Now Good chassis. Country Coach made them themselves. Isn't that, what's it called, the? Dynomax. It's one of the safest chassis you can buy, though. Okay. It's a 45 foot, weighs 52,000 pounds, and it's, in my opinion, the, probably the best. Uh, B-roll shots are product, excellent. The best I'm motor home definitely home. very impressed with the B-roll shots How here. many slides does it have? It has four slides, it has a 12, 12 and a half K generator. It only has 300 hours on it. The engine has 60,000 miles. That's it. Wow. And uh, it, it's in top shape right now because I just went through it to do an East Coast trip and never got to make the trip. So. Oh, it looks beautiful. I mean, the paint job. Obviously, you've had this in storage its entire lifetime. It's always been under cover, yeah. There's zip D awnings, automatic awnings. All the way around? All the way around. Wow. Both sides. And the... Uh, Window window awnings awnings here. Here. That is cool. Zip zip All the way around. This is a really okay. nice coach. So a total of how many awnings? Uh, seven. Seven awnings. Four full size, full full coverage awnings, and three window awnings. Wow. And are these new tires on all the way around? Yes, they're new Michelin tires. I just put on three months ago. Uh, I expanded. I extended the front ones to 365, so you had to buy new rims, and I put 315s on the rear. And, <laughs> and uh, where's Andrew? <laughs> and I am Andrew. We also have new, all new Lifeline batteries, which is our AGM that lasts forever. Um, has new hardwood floors on the inside. You'll see when you go in there. Uh, Good shape, ready to go. Had the whole full body uh, serviced, the engine serviced, the generator, the aqua hot, everything's ready. Oh, so it does have an aqua hot system for the yeah. whole unit. Wow. Right. Now, is that connected to the hot water tank and engine block and all that? That is the hot water. Oh, so does it also Automatic. heat the coach? Yes. Okay. Wow, so it has the aqua hot through the vents and the hot water tank and the engine block. But you also have uh, uh, electric uh, hot floors. Uh, um. Yes, plus the, the three heat pumps on top. The, the quality in this coach, as far as the woodwork goes, is about the best I've ever seen. And they have the good latches, the good solid uh, wood doors, and no, no cheap hinges. Um, everything is built to last. And obviously a 15-year-old coach, it's, or a 13-year-old coach, it's, it's just like it was when it was new. Wow, I can see that. Look at that. Look at the hinges on there. They're not cheap. What have you used this coach primarily for uh, your llama events? Uh, we Yes, we, we go all over the country uh, with llamas and show them. Uh, and basically, the, most of the trips we take, except for the coast, are with the llama trailer behind us. Uh, but we, we love just going out and because this, this thing will go for a week without having to dump the tanks or, or charge the batteries or whatever, because it's set up for it. But it, it's a- Those chairs it's a nice are nice. Way to go and be out, 
camping and not rough it. Right. Yeah. Visit, visit, yeah. yeah, we go a lot to California to visit family. Cool. Okay. Wow, this has the silver leaf glass dash in it. What this does is it replaces all your analog gauges. That are these high-end coaches put in all this old technology in the dash. Analog is not very accurate. The glass dash is accurate to the degree. This actually hooks up to your Allison uh, uh, um, onboard computer system for your Allison transmission. And all the readings are in there already and it's ran down two digital wires. And again, it's accurate to the degree. So you get your rolling miles per, uh, you also get with the Silverleaf dash, uh, any engine trip lights, it'll actually tell you what it is versus looking up a code. You have your backup camera or any other cameras that you wanna to add to it. This monitors your entire coach, the engine, and it's accurate to the degree. These things are worth every cent that people pay for these. I used to work for them back in 2008, so I know what I'm talking about. And he actually has some videos since this was released at Silverleaf where he did a bunch of uh, stuff to his Liberty coach too. So definitely check oh, out Rob's channel. Super, super cool channel. Lights. Lights and a little bit of mirror uh, silhouettes in here. We have the automatic blinds. The hard floor is brand new. Wow, it's beautiful. Look at that pattern, it's absolutely gorgeous. And the tile is heated along with the aqua heat vents. Look at the space in here, just incredible. It is a four slide, so it has a tremendous amount of space. And I love these little touches that to the country coach was known for. They were really a high-end motor coach business. Look at this beautiful woodwork. It's absolutely amazing. And they just spare no expense. It is a nice coach. Country Coach was one of the top RVs in the industry back in the early 2000s and 19, you know, the 95s. And uh, when the economy crashed between 2007, uh, the owner decided to pretty much retire. But they still service country coaches in Grand Junction, Oregon. That's where they made country coaches. So all the uh, uh, the people that were with country coach uh, still service country coaches. Look at this counter space. It's just amazing. I mean, it's just uh, beautiful. Uh, nice design and, and colors and that go with the coach just amazingly well. And there's just a tremendous amount of counter space here. This pulls out so you have seating for four. And there's another insert that's inside here that fits right there. How well thought out. Just amazing. this a buddy chair and we travel with two small dogs so I can sit in there with both my dogs and have plenty of room. Um, there's still a walkway to get to the kitchen area to make lunch or get something to drink and right. stuff and get to the head to go to the restroom. I'm just amazed at how much room there there is in a, a, a full slide. Yeah having four slides really makes a difference. It really does. We've had 15-20 people in here partying. <laughs> it looks like you have no problem fitting everybody yeah, in here. Yeah, there's plenty of room, plenty of room, yeah. What's the favorite part of this area for you? What, what's, for me? Yeah. My office. Okay, why well, is I, that? Well, because we have our business down in California and I do payroll and payable remote access. So when we're out on the road anywhere in the country, I can still get in there and take care of business and not miss a beat and we can still travel and have nice. fun. And I also love the fact that we can go and visit our son down in California, he even put a 50 amp plug in his garage so we just stern in, oh. plug in, it's be able to be self-contained, you have your own bed, you have all your toiletries, you're not packing suitcases, staying in hotels with uncomfortable beds and it's just wonderful. And yeah. we go visit friends at other llama ranches and stuff and we're self-contained, we don't need to be in 
imposing anybody, impositioning anybody. Right. So it's fun. Rick, what's your favorite part of this area of the coach? Of the interior? Yeah. I think it's my chair. <laughs> I like the craftsmanship that's nice and sturdy. Somewhere. They don't rattle or anything while it's going around driving on the road. Um, so it's really nice. I can serve cocktails or wine to guests without using Dixie cups. Nice. <laughs> and I have this good sturdy hardware and stuff oh, here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know yeah. you always point that out on every rig you look at, so yeah, I thought definitely. I'd show you we have that too. <laughs> definitely, you have the, the stainless steel hinges, I mean, yeah. just and then super the sturdy. And here. Right. Nice confection oven, microwave oven. So, nice. I like it a little. Just, it goes down the road just fine like this. I don't have to be stacking it up. Or That's bigger than some I've seen. Like my own coach, it doesn't have this much mm -hmm. room. A double burner cooktop, which is great. The detail of this interior lighting setup that is absolutely gorgeous, and I know Andrew would like that. I am a, I am Andrew. <laughs> You're an Andrew wannabe. I'm an Andrew awesome. wannabe. <laughs> you need to lose, lose like, like fifty more, more pounds. pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I have a double stainless sink. Huge. It's incredible. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. And then this way, this comes down so I can fill up my coffee pot. Without oh, perfect. Moving, you know, I don't have to use a... That is a nice looking... Did this come with the coach? Yeah. It has such taste. I love that spigot. I do too. And then we also have a regular home refrigerator freezer with the water on the outside. And it opens up. Oh my gosh. So, of course, the light's not on because we have it turned off, but... Plenty of room. Wow. Yeah, that's a residential maker. fridge. Res that's right. This I love this office. And then in the back, I also have. Um, we use this. It's a washer dryer combo. And then we have a hanging closet here. Really is a beautiful. I mean, it's really a beautiful coach. It is a beautiful coach. I, I love the color scheme. You know, it's Thank just got you. a real warm feeling to and it. And I even have my. Sisters pillow. Oh, that's cool. That's the, the three sisters <laughs> the here three in Central si Oregon. Yeah, that's the three sisters. That's Could, staying with me, though. Can I have this? No. No? no I'll oh. buy you one. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got a, a large TV back here as well as a large one. In the okay, there's lots of storage for, you know, all these drawers and stuff. Big places, nice drawers here. I love this uh, stepping arrangement down yeah. here, the stairs. Yeah, because the engine's under there. Okay. And then we've got a nice hanging closet in here. And then there's a safe, well, the safe's on the other side. But there's also cupboards here to put shoes and stuff on the inside oh, there. Oh, that's nice, wow. And I don't know what's going in there, but there's something in there. And look at that room, it's really deep. Yeah, uh, I've seen a lot of coaches where it's not the width of my own clothing. I mean, that yeah. actually gives you a lot of space. And over on this side is the safe. And it's got a whole house back. So the parts for the vacuum here. And I got a little ironing board that's strapped in there. But it's a nice, comfortable mattress. We put a real thick foam pad oh, on memory that. foam, I could tell. Yeah, it's a, yeah one of those needle foams. Nice. So, sleep like babies. In the shower, I'm like I said, I'm 6'2". Who's got the nice head in here? You got the same height as me. You've got a temperature gauge here so you can regulate how hot or cold your water is going to be. It's just so spacious. Yeah. There's a lot. Right, you should get in there, Andrew. See if you fit. Oh, definitely. Look at me. I'm 6'2", and I've got plenty. I mean, plenty, plenty of room. Wide. We need to get Big Tony in there. So, this is plenty. plenty. I mean, it's... And I don't have to duck down to take no. a shower. Yeah, no, because you got this hands-free guy. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's perfect. Yes, it is. And the tile work is just beautiful. And I love the detail. These high-end coaches, you know... Mm -hmm. I do, too. Yeah. I do, too. Look at that. It looks like marble. And look at the light switches, how they're perfectly in line with each other. And this is just your controls for putting the slides in and out. And you probably know what all that stuff is, because I don't. That's all Ricky stuff. Yeah. And more. Well, that's all your tank sensors. Yeah. Okay. And then all the amp. Now, I know the Total Coach System Country Coach was putting in here, which is, again, by Silverleaf. Yep. Is super reliable. Yep. It's incredible. Yeah, and this is a hide-a-bed sofa, so you can actually sleep more. 
and you have plenty of room and still not interfere with the TV watching or anything like that for others. These, these tile floors, Andrew, are also electric, so it's really nice if it's a cold morning when you wake up, you have warm floors to step on when you have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night or anything like that. Oh, nice. Yeah, we we just we just finished having the whole front end redone. We peeled the mask off, re-clear coated everything, and put another new mask on all the way to the top. Wow, looks like brand new. So is it that uh, the 3M? 3M mask. Mask, okay. We updated to the LED headlights. Well, now I'm gonna ask the toughest question. What are you selling it for? A Prevo. <laughs> We're selling it for two twenty. It's uh, thirty thousand under, not a book, and we're buying a a, a new two thousand five Prevo XL. Oh two. my God! Wow. Yeah. We forgot to mention it has all new hydraulic lines in it. For the slides, all the slide hydraulic lines have been replaced. Right. Well, I want to give a shout out to RVing with Andrew Steele for letting us have fun filming this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos. Also check out my videos on, on my YouTube channel, which is Prevost Life. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, that's a cool, that's a really cool video. And, and Rob asked me before uh, he was going to make that and I was more than happy to um, you know, have them copy my style or kind of imitate my style. I'm, imitation is the best form of flattery. So uh, Rob's got a really cool channel, Prevo Life. He bought an 03 non-slide Liberty coach that I had actually made a YouTube video about. Um, and then after he bought it, I actually interviewed him about you know buying buying the Liberty coach. Uh, a lot of you have seen that video. So uh, his his new YouTube channel called Prevo Life is all Prevo related stuff, he, documenting his entire journey and his Liberty Coach, and just a, just a really cool guy. And his editing skills are on point. Can't say enough good stuff about Rob. A uh, really good guy. I didn't expect to make a video like this today, but I'm actually in my hotel room here. I'll show you guys what's going on kind of behind the scenes here. So. I think I got upgraded to like a suite or something. This is like a hundred dollar a night, like Marriott or something. But uh, yeah, just uh, got a <laughs> in uh, Denver, Colorado right now. I've been traveling all over, super busy, but um, a lot of cool stuff coming in, in future vlogs. So appreciate all of you watching today's video. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.